What's up guys, it's Carter. Uh, I'm back with another isolator video. Uh, I just finished doing some bench press on my rack and I took the bar down and, and all the attachments and stuff, but I wanted to show you guys, I have the uh, isolator carriage stored here at the bottom of the rack. Um, it's kind of out of the way there. I didn't really need to move it to do bench press, so I was pleased about that. But now I'm gonna set up the isolator to do uh, some exercises. So. I'm going to show you guys how I just kind of slide it back into place and get it set up. Alright guys, so right now, like I said, the isolator is down at the bottom of the rack. These little knobs on the sides are loose. Um, and I have the pins that I store right here out and uh, out of the way. And there's also this knob I didn't mention in the last video. That uh, this pin that slides in and out and it has a roller on the back of it. So it kind of will slide up and down um, the upright. I'm going to show you guys how I would get this thing into place. I kind of grab this handle here, just pull it up, and right here looks like a good spot. Slide's pretty easy, as long as you have it by itself and don't have attachments hooked to it. It seems to slide up and down the rack pretty well. Once you have some attachments on it, it can be a little awkward because those attachments are going to uh, weigh down each side differently. So. Uh, you can just actually have that in the wrong spot. Get it. There we go. So then they have these that you can secure them. I'm sure he probably advises you do that. I haven't noticed that I need to though. And then you can just tighten these little knobs here. I kind of tighten them a little by little. And it's best to get them as tight as you can, uh, especially me with my wrap rack. It's a little slimmer than the three by three uprights of say Rogue. <clears throat> so once you get that pretty tight, like this isn't, there's like no play in it. So that's all you gotta do to set it up. And then putting the attachments like I showed you in the last video is easy enough. Alright, so I'm set up for a row variation. It's going to be kind of like a bent over row. I'm just playing with the prime handles I have here connected to this, uh, this bar, this attachment. It's kind of nice that there's different rings here for different attachments. felt pretty good uh, definitely something I would I'll continue to do and work in from time to time uh, felt really good on my back and my lats I uh, was able to get tension the whole time uh, and you know the isolator felt very stable and smooth while doing that movement so now I'm gonna move into some preacher curls I'm gonna just take off these handles <clears throat> and uh, I already have the pad attached I'm going to take off a little bit of weight because I ain't curling all that. And then I pulled this chair over to sit on. You know, you can use whatever bench. You can even do them standing if you want. Now, I may have to adjust this a little bit to get it right.
All right, guys, this is just a quick video just showing you guys kind of this isolator in action. <clears throat> I know uh, some of you guys are eager to see how it functions um, in a real workout, so I kind of wanted to show you guys that. So uh, I'll be putting out other videos on my Instagram and YouTube, probably more shorts for right now until I get some uh, good footage and a good feel for how this thing works, and then I'll be doing a full-length review. But all right, guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next one. I feel like I'm so...